here we are going to solve a problem in design of welding particularly when the plane of welding is same as the load acting plane let me solve the problem now the bracket as shown in figure carries a load of 10 kN to determine the size of the weld if the allowable shear stress is 75 MPa actually the diagram is given so let me see the diagram so here a 100 mm wide plate is welded with another plate with the overlaps, overlapping distance of 60 mm. And the weldings are parallel welds. So two parallel welds are used to connect the plates. And from the edge of the other plate, 120 mm, the load is acting in downward direction vertically. The load value is 10 kN. That's it. So we need to solve the problem to find out the size of the weld fine the given data sir the load acting on the plate is 10 kN which is nothing but 10 into 10 power 3 newton and the allowable shear stress value 75 mega pascal which is 75 newton per m square so how we are going to solve the problem so here the methodology of the problem is there are two different stresses are acting primarily on the welding so when the load 10 kN is acting at the point which is 120 mm from the other plate, the stress will be induced in the welding primarily is shear stress. So due to the applied loads, the direct shear stress will be induced. And when the load is eccentric, there is a chance of turning moment. And due to the turning moment, there will be a shear stress on the welding so there are two different kind of stresses one is due to the application of direct load direct shear will be induced on the welding and due to the turning moment because of the eccentricity if the plate fails the plate may turn like this with the radius of r so due to the turning moment the shear stress will be induced on the welding so primarily it will be direct shear and due to the turning moment there will be another shear. So we have to calculate tau 1 that, that is direct shear stress then tau 2 that is due to the turning moment. After calculating tau 1 and tau 2 we have to calculate the equivalent shear by using the parallelogram law that is root of tau 1 square plus tau 2 square plus 2 tau 1 tau 2 cos theta. And while calculating direct stress the stress is nothing but the load by area. Load is the load acting on the plate and the area of the welding. And here there are two parallel welds with a length of 60 mm. So the area of two weld is equal to 2 into length of the weld into throat thickness. So length that is 60 mm and throat thickness is equal to 0 0.707 h. The h is size of welding that's what we are going to calculate and then stress due to turning moment the stress formula tau is equal to turning moment mt into radius of turning r divided by j polar moment of inertia turning moment is nothing but load into eccentricity value and the turning radius we have to find and the polar moment of inertia value j can be taken from the design data book so we are using normally PSG publication design data book from page number 11.5 we can directly take the J value and then after calculating tau 1 and tau 2 we have to calculate the equivalent stress and the equivalent stress is given in the problem itself that is 75 Newton per mm square by equating with 75 Newton per mm square the unknown weld size will be calculated so that's what we are going to calculate in the video Okay, first we can calculate the direct stress value that is load by area. And here the load value is equal to 10 into 10 power 3 newton and area is nothing but two times of welding area that is length into thickness. So we can calculate the area first and then we can calculate the remaining things. So area A is equal to 2 into the length of the weld is nothing but the distance of overlapping that is directly given in the problem which is 60 mm that is the length of the weld. 
so we can directly substitute 60 mm for weld length into 0.707 height so here the area can be calculated which is 84.84 height we can leave height in terms of height itself and the unit of area will be millimeter square everything is substituted in millimeter that is 60 mm so we can get the area in millimeter square and then now calculate the shear stress value that shear stress to 1 is equal to the load value 10 kilo newton which is nothing but 10 into 10 power 3 newton divided by area 84.84 into h so by simplifying this we can get the value of 117.87 divided by height the CSS value and the unit will be in Newton per thumb square so while calcul calculating the direct stress and the stress due to the moment we can leave the value in terms of height so at the end of the problem we can equate the stress values by the given value and then we can calculate the h which is nothing but the size of weld so now we got the direct stress value which is 117.87 divided by height newton per mm square and next thing is we can calculate the stress due to turning moment in the stress due to turning moment the formula will be mt into r divided by j mt is nothing but turning moment r is the turning radius and j is the polar moment of inertia that can be taken from the data book so one by one we can calculate the so first thing is we have to calculate the, we are going to calculate the turning moment turning moment is nothing but load into eccentricity value the load value is already given which is 10 into 10 power 3 that is 10 kN and eccentricity eccentricity is nothing but the distance between the load acting point to the center of gravity point so actually there will be problem which is the welding with parallel welds and also transverse weld but in the particular problem the problem has only parallel weld so the center of gravity point will be the center of the overlapping distance if it is 60 mm so at the 30 mm we can mark the center of gravity point so eccentricity is nothing but the distance between center of gravity to the load acting point so already 120 mm is given in the problem and the distance is nothing but the overlapping divided by 2 which is 60 by 2 30 so total eccentricity distance will be 120 plus 30 which is 150 mm so let me calculate the turning moment so the load value will be 10 into 10 power 3 newton into eccentricity value that is 120 mm plus that 60 by 2 so here is the sorry so the eccentricity is nothing but the 120 mm and plus that 60 by 2 60 by 2 how it comes is the center of gravity point will be at the center portion of that overlapping distance if only parallel weld is there in the problem if there is a transverse weld we have to identify the g from the given data book so if it is only parallel weld we can directly mark the point at the center fine now we can write the turning moment value the turning moment 10 into 10 power 3 into that is 120 plus 30 150 mm so the calculation 15 into 10 power 5 newton millimeter this one will be in millimeter so the unit of turning moment is equal to 15 sorry newton millimeter fine and next thing is we have to calculate the r value that is turning radius so for that let me take the small triangle in the diagram itself so we can name like that this is a triangle the center of gravity point g and the top one is a and the bottom one is b so this is a and this is b and the turning radius is a g that a g is the turning radius fine so by using the right angle triangle we can calculate the values so here we can see that 
GB is nothing but half of 60 and AB is nothing but half of 100. So we can simply get the distance from the diagram AB is equal to 50 mm that is half of 100 and GB is equal to 30 mm that is half of the 60 mm and by using the Pythagoras theorem we can calculate the R value. So here R is equal to using Pythagoras theorem AB square plus GB square. So here AB is equal to 50 that is 50 square plus 30 square by simplifying it we can get the R value which is 58.3 mm. So we got the R value and in the equivalent stress formula in the equivalent stress formula we need cos theta so we can get the cos theta value from the right angle triangle itself so we can simply get the cos theta here so cos theta is equal to adjacent side gb divided by r so we can get the cos theta here itself so cos theta is equal to gb by r that gb is equal to 30 mm and r is equal to 58.3 mm by simplifying it we can get the value 5.5145 which is the cos theta value we can directly substitute in the equivalent stress fine and we have calculated mt and r next thing is polar moment of inertia which is j so we can directly get the value of j from design data book so j value can be taken from design data book from page number 11.5 so from 11.5 we have different diagram so the first diagram is only transverse weld second diagram is double transverse weld third diagram is double parallel weld so in our problem they have given parallel weld so from the parallel weld we can get the J formula from page number 11.5 so they have given the welding as a line so if welding as line they have given at the top of the page okay so if welding as a line the j formula for the parallel weld is equal to v cube plus 3b d square plus 6 if it is for line that's a formula but we have thickness in our welding so we have to multiply with t so here in the formula there is no thickness is mentioned because the welding is given as line but from the j formula we have to multiply the thickness value because in our problem we have to consider the thickness of the weld so j formula from the data book multiplication with fine now we can calculate the j value so j is equal to b is nothing but the length of the weld and d is nothing but the gap of the weld so the length of the weld is 60 mm and the gap of the weld is 100 mm we can get from the diagram itself so here this is the b value b value is 60 mm and d value is the 100 mm that is the gap fine we can substitute here by substituting b is equal to 60 that 60 cube plus 3 into 60 plus 100 square divided by 6 and that should be multiplied with t t is nothing but 0 0.707 height so by simplifying that we can get 237552 into height the unit of polar moment of kinesia is equal to millimeter power 4 now we got all the value we can get the shear stress so to, to shear stress due to turning moment the formula will be mt into r divided by j 
So here we can get the mt is equal to 15 into 10 power 5. The mt is equal to 15 into 10 power 5. And r is equal to 58.3 mm. And divided by j is equal to 237.552 heights. By simplifying that, we got the value of 2 to which is 368.13 heights. So now we got the value of 21 and 22 in terms of heights. And by calculating the equivalent stress and equating with 75 Newton per mm square that is given in the problem, we can get the we can get the welding size. So let me calculate the equivalent stress value. So here equivalent stress 2 is equal to root of 2 1 square plus 2 2 square plus 2 2 1 2 2 cos theta that is given in the problem 75 Newton per mm square the allowable shear stress value. So allowable shear stress value given so we can substitute everything. 2 1 value which is already calculated. 117.87 divided by height the whole square plus 2 2 we have calculated now 368.13 divided by height the whole square plus 2 into 2 1 117.87 divided by height into 368.13 divided by height and cos theta we have calculated already in that is 0.5145 which is equal to 75 so by simplifying that we can multiply everything and we can simplify that so here the value will be 440.52 divided by h which is equal to 75 so 75 and now we can calculate the height value. So the height value is equal to 440.75 divided by 75, which is equal to 5.87 mm. So the welding size value is 5.87 mm, that is approximately equal to 6 mm. That's it. So when the problem in welding is given, particularly the welding plane and the load acting plane is same. So we have to calculate the direct shear and the shear due to turning moment. And calculating the equivalent stress, we can get the value whatever we want. Thank you.